after a good performance, you actually feel inner peace, happiness, and um, emptiness, an absolute emptiness. After all that noise and playing all that music, after that enormous experience, back in the hotel room again, alone. On the other hand, I thoroughly enjoy cultivating long-standing friendships. And I'm a very loyal friend after all. And I find it very important to get these people who are so dear to me to participate in my festival in Dubrovnik once a year so that we can spend these two weeks together celebrating. Once a year, acclaimed violin soloist Julian Rachlin takes a break from the overly regimented life of the professional musician. The constant travel, the cursory acquaintances, the celebrity buzz, and a repertoire without any surprises. In Dubrovnik, he does it all differently. Fourteen days of chamber music with the world's best soloists. Misha Maisky, cellist for example, will also be using Julian's festival as an opportunity to get away from his celebrity regimen for the eighth time running. No matter where I'm playing, the star is the music. Because no matter how good you are, how successful you are you know, as a classical musician, on a daily basis we encounter such a great geniuses, the composers that we play, which makes you feel very humble. It, it puts you in your own place. By comparison to these great composers, all of us are tiny little you know, mosquitoes, so to say. on the highest levels of music making because of quality of musicians. Practically all musicians who come here make music together by themselves, wonderful musicians, but the combination as well, because it's a question of people who know each other and who have similar ideas about music making in general, the result is usually quite exceptional. Most of the people keep coming back and it's, it's like, feel in a way like a little musical family.
the Croatian city of Dubrovnik. Her beauty hides the wounds of war, the most recent dating back only a few years. Julian Rachlin deliberately chose this venue for his high-profile festival, culture being one of the ways for this city to survive. We try to tell a story, the story the composer wanted to relate. But each one of us creates something of our own, since this is an abstract art form. After all, everyone has his or her own imagery and his or her own story to tell. It's a melting pot. It all ties in together. And hopefully that certain je ne sais quoi emerges, which can't or shouldn't be expressed in words. That's what comes about in the evenings here at Rector's Palace. And I'm very proud and very happy that I have the privilege of having so many wonderful people around me. This city has a certain magnetism, all the stones and plaster. For the musicians, Rector's Palace emanates a very particular energy. Everyone tells me so. I want to help Dubrovnik establish itself more and more as a cultural and musical center, and not only as a holiday destination. It is here in Dubrovnik, a place he calls his temporary home, that Julian Rachlin, the erstwhile refugee child from Lithuania, gathers his international family of friends. Music is the language they share. Here in Dubrovnik, uh, at Julian's festival, you know, we are here together with these people that's... I mean, we're really like a family. We've been playing for many, many years together and we experience making music together in that same way and with the same kind of passion. I think that is very important. But that one knows immediately from the first, from the first note you play, actually. You, it's, it's, music is something incredibly honest. You cannot hide in music. I think it's very true. That many musicians also for that reason, and also of course for they love making chamber music, but also for the social aspect of this, having really the time to see your really close friends and combine this with making music, this is so important to so many musicians because this through the year doesn't really happen so often. Being soloists, we travel somewhere, uh, have a rehearsal with an orchestra. The day after we have a concert, sometimes a few more concerts, but okay, you have some contacts, but not kind of this really close contact, of course, that one develops um, when one plays together for, for a longer time over, over many, many years. Mm -hmm. 